Morning everybody, welcome back. Surprise, surprise, we're still on this shower head chopper build. I know some of you guys are probably getting sick of seeing these updates, but we're in the closing weeks of getting this project done. And so we don't really have time to do anything else. So once this is done, we're gonna get back to our regular different builds and all that kind of stuff for the videos. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this project starting to come together and that's always the exciting time we are going to button up the bottom end of the engine today um, we did get the tins painted maybe get the oil tank and the rear fender installed on the frame got a bunch of bolts we need to machine and I don't know what else I just got in here this morning it looks like the air conditioning in the front's not working so Today may be a short day. Can't get any AC guys out here on a Saturday, I don't believe. So, anyway, <clears throat> it is what it is. We, uh, we'll keep plugging away and see what we can get done. All right. <clears throat> we are going to go ahead and get our cam installed. We're going to... because <clears throat> we're running the magneto style cover we got our cam or our mag or in this case our distributor drive gear <clears throat> that's thread sealer not loctite Also want to make sure we got our pinion nut nice and tight. Cam cover gasket. Going to go ahead and get some of our high low mar. Get a little assembly lube <clears throat> on our bushings and the cam cover. Slide that into place. Alright, 
so I just need to determine my bolts <clears throat> which ones I need lengthwise and then we're gonna machine them actually it looks like I'm gonna need much shorter ones than I thought okay that'll go there that'll go there Some much shorter ones. All right, so so we got those two, and I'm going to need one, two, three, four little short ones. So I have to go do some digging and see what I can find for that. All right, so we're out here at my favorite spot in the shop, the lathe. Um, see if I can get this to focus. So a lot of these stainless steel bolts come with these serrated heads. Let's see. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but they're just ugly to me. So <clears throat> when I'm doing a bike of this level, I made up these little tools just a piece of aluminum round bar. I drill them and tap them to whatever the bolt size is and then I cut a slot in it. I wish this camera would focus better for you guys. There we go, I cut a slot in it. Then I'm able to thread the bolts in. We put it in the lathe chuck. Tighten it down nice and tight. It squeezes the slot and locks down on the bolt without damaging the threads any. So that allows me, I'm gonna go ahead and machine the head and then uh, we'll polish these bolts. All right guys, just a quick interruption in the video here. I wanna tell you about how to enter to win. Um, as I said in a couple previous videos, we're gonna pop this information in the middle of all of our videos here and there. Um, just to let people know how to enter and it'll get people to watch the videos as you got to watch and find where the information is. So it's going to be real simple. Uh, you don't have to buy anything, doesn't cost you anything. You just need to send an email. I'm going to try to get the email on the screen here. I'm not a super tech whiz, so we'll see how that goes. But um, the email address is pretty straightforward. It's Gaddy's Garage Giveaway at gmail.com. So all you have to do send one email in the email subject line giveaway and in the body of the email your name address telephone number that's it um, you don't actually even need to give your whole address if you don't want just let's scratch the address let's give your name your city and state and a contact phone number we're not going to sell the phone numbers. No one will ever have them but me. So don't worry about that. You're not going to get sales calls. I hate sales calls as much as everybody else. But we do need a way to get a hold of you if you win. So um, again, name, city and state, telephone number. You do need to be a subscriber to the channel to win also. So if you're seeing this and you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and then send the information on over. So we look forward to everybody entering and we're really excited to give away this bike. Now back to the video. All right, so you can see we got these two bolts polished up. Obviously we're gonna have to do this for a whole bunch more bolts um, pretty much every bolt that goes on the bike will get worked on in some way but anyway I just thought you guys might like to see how we do that um, see the little arbors you know you can make these for obviously any any thread size I find them to be really handy and it just keeps you from screwing up your threads in your bolts so just another little 
another little trick we use here. So put our trans cover on um, this is the one we modified for our hydraulic clutch we got our bolts polished up actually let's grab a couple of washers something I always do whenever you know this cover we painted so I always use a washer just helps protect the painted surface. When you tighten your stuff up. I have to say I'm really loving the look of this uh, black Cerakote on the case with the covers being um, gloss black and the polished stainless hardware. It's just really a, a beautiful look. Alright, so 
one more thing we got to do is we're going to go ahead and assemble our uh, split rocker boxes here that we modified the rocker shafts. So we got our new rubber seals, we got our rocker arms and shafts in here. So I like to put a little dab of Loctite, just real tiny. Need to get a tap and chase these threads. Doesn't seem to want to. There it goes. So then on our other side where you normally have the stud sticking out and a nut, I cut those off, drilled and tapped, and so then I got these little stainless washers with bonded um, rubber. Which are not the right size that I ordered. Awesome. Okay, so that's not going to work for right now. I don't know what happened there. But we got our button head bolt, which will go in this side. I'll reorder some different size washers. I'm going to go ahead and put these in here just since we have them out. And when we get the new washers, we'll pop these out. And So that'll give us a nice button head finish on the end here. Um, kind of matches this side instead of a big stud and a nut sticking out, which I just didn't like the look of.
Dankeschön. <lacht> um, roll. There, there you go. They're tapped. Yeah. I use a Phillips on you. Yeah, just because what I have. It doesn't. They're covered anyway. Oh. You know, like. The seat goes on top of it, so it doesn't really matter. Right. And it was a long. I know. I probably have some somewhere that I cut already. Yeah, yeah. I'm at the bottom, I think. Yeah. Well, I can't believe how thick that tube is. Yeah, I know, yeah. You cut my finger. Smack your one. It's the bottom line up. There's no hole in the bottom line. I know, I just noticed that. You gotta drill it. I'll have to drill it. Because it's offset a little, but I mean, it might be. Yeah, well, it's because of the chain, probably. Yeah. But it's like that. Yeah, not I got here, but inside. Yeah, the back doesn't look. Yeah, this may do this a little bit too. I got it once the sissy bar is on. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know, so plus we got a black. Oh yeah. Black the inside of that. So you have to take it off again. Like oh, I it. or I could do it like. Mask it all. Off yeah. In the frame. But I actually I have to. So simultaneously, I have to have these out to get the oil tank in, but then you have to get this right back because the oil tank mounts to mounts this. To that. So it like you need like a couple of guys to. So your oil tank just won't slide in and you mount it. I don't think. Oh, I okay. think it's a little bit of a. I think so possible. Because yeah, because so you see how the fender protrudes here oh, yeah, past yeah, yeah. that. Right. So, you so get, it's it's right. a it's a. Jigsaw so part, like you said, yeah, everything. Looks ma amazing, Joe. Yeah, what I got to do is get the sissy bar polished. Right. The sissy bar, you mount the back, then I can take these screws out. It'll tip out of the way just a little bit. Does the guy have the sissy bar? No. Oh, you're polishing it. We're polishing it. Yeah, see how nice it looks? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> it's going to be a great looking bike, John. Especially when everything's together with that gas cap. You know, this little thing here was a nice little... Yeah. You know, the headlight, this here. All those little things you made to control. Yeah. All like, I don't know if you know, all these bolts I've yeah. machined and polished. Right. You no, know, like... nice, yeah. So this is going to get... I like Allen bolts on bikes. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. I just always did. This is going to get polished. Right. And then it goes here. Right, with, that's aluminum, right? Yeah, so this will be polished with the fins. And it'll pop. Yeah, and then I got the black stainless Allen bolts to go to against the that. polish. So you contrast. So, yeah. So. This looks good, satin like this. Yeah, Should that's that Cerakote. That's how the motor is, too. You see, I got the cam cover on the motor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, cam's in. That Cerakote is shiny. Um, but that's that fancy cam cover. Yeah. We did the gloss, and then the distributor will be polished. Oh, yeah, the distributor, man. Yeah. Wait till that. So, where the heck is that? It's over here, no? Is it over there? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, so, I mean, it's not put together, but this... Where's the lid? The lid's probably over there.
just need you to hold this. I got to get the oil tank. You got to like get the fender back a little bit, then I'll slip it in. Then you got to like they kind of got to go in. It together, huh? Yeah, it's just all, and then it, that oil tank mounts to the fender bracket, but it's just all super I tight. I gotta order some damn light bulbs. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm working in the damn cave in here. <laughs> cool. Going from here to there. So, sissy bar, it's, sissy it's bar. yeah, stainless steel, so it'll get polished. That's the one you made right there, yeah. The one okay. that's on the table right there, yeah. We just got to polish it, yeah. yeah. That's like all it'll look like this, same material, yeah. So, really, mm -hmm. made all this, oh, really, yeah. Oh, shit. yep. It's one of those DNA, one of those cheap springers. So I, I remade the front leg completely out of stainless, the, you know, the bottoms and this piece and everything. And then I added sheet metal because, yeah, I don't know, you've, I'm sure you've seen them. It's those inexpensive springers. They're, they don't look that good. Yeah. So I added, the peak, I added the peaks here with the sheet metal to match this. So, oh, shit. Yeah. That looks sharp, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to run old Springer, man, years ago. Yeah, they kind of ride like shit, but they look cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> When I had, man, I had a super glide whenever I first started riding. Yep. Was like 17. And uh, like I had that thing for like nine years, man. The eight over Springer front end on. Yeah. It fucking, without raking the frame, probably right? Yeah, like Sky no, Jet. No, oh, no, oh, it was, it was cut and everything? Frame, yeah. yeah. Didn't have that flop to it. Yeah. Man. Didn't have the flop to it or nothing. Yeah. That fucking, that thing, it rode as good as my fucking dresser. Yeah. That thing fucking rode great, man. Forward controls, you know. And, Shit, the ape hangers, they used to run ape hangers. Yeah. Well before most people did. Yeah. Years ago in the, in the 80s. You know. But, uh, shit, yeah, man. That, that thing. I went through ditches and everything else on that <laughs> bitch, and it was still straight as an arrow. <laughs> he was a pogo stick a few times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yep. Yeah, give me the opportunity. All right, man. Thank you. Alright, so making a little bit of headway here. Got our oil tank mounted, um, rear fender mounted. Got to black out the inside of the rear fender still. 
couple little spots we got to wet sand and polish on there but we'll do that right on the bike it's easier um, it's kind of hard to hold sometimes so it's easier to uh, mount them on the bike and then wet sand and polish um, I was gonna put the tank on but we decided to do something a little special with the tank so it's not gonna go on right now um, we got to wet sand and buff that and then I'm gonna take it over to a buddy of mine for some uh, artwork so we will uh, have that maybe end of, end of the, this next coming week and um, hopefully we'll get our heads finished end of uh, and you know middle to end of this coming week and be able to start getting our motor put together and slide the motor in which will be a big big step on it got our distributor base all polished up I'm not going to install that in the motor until we get it in the frame just be one less thing in the way when we try and slide the motor in but did get it all polished up and needs a few um, finishing touches to the shaft that goes in it but the outside housing is really 95 percent done all right guys thanks for joining us today i don't know i feel like this video was kind of schizophrenic we were all over the place um ac being out i had been dealing with that all morning on and off trying to get people on the phone and get somebody out here so it's kind of been a bit of a bit of a wreck for a day but we did get managed to get some stuff done you know we got our rocker boxes together um, got our fender and oil tank on got our cam chest all assembled cam cover on so we're plugging away um, I think we're I don't know around seven weeks away um, from needing this thing done so I I'm feeling feeling pretty good about it I hate to even say that but I'm feeling feeling good that we're gonna get things done so anyway um, please don't forget to check out our giveaway bike videos I know I keep saying we're gonna do an update on that and we will but realistically it'll probably be after we get this bike finished because we just don't have any time um, between all the regular customer work and this bike that's all the time I have so um, but check out the old videos you know um, share those with your buddies let's try and get these subscribers up so we can get this bike given away and that's going to do it we're out of here and we hope to see you next time at gaddy's garage